Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for checking me out. Today, I wanted to do something a little different and show you guys my favorite practice tool, device, effects pedal, a looper. This is a ditto looper from the company TC Electronic. It's a simple looper with a single foot switch. One press to record, double press to stop, hold to clear, or hold to undo if you have a loop going already. This is the loop level how loud your loop recording is. You don't have to have this looper, but anything of this sort. I have a stereo looper down on my pedal board that I'll do some sweeps of now, but any old looper will do. So let's get into it. Okay, so like I was saying in the intro, today I wanted to show you the looper. One of my favorite practice tools of all time. Like I said in the intro, it's a guitar pedal that you can use to just record yourself and have it play back to you. So you can play your favorite chord progression and play solos or whatever you want over it. So I have a Digitech Jamman looper here. This is the first looper I ever got. It's a stereo looper. Yours doesn't have to be as fancy. Like I was saying, this ditto looper right here works fantastic. Whatever you can get your hands on these days is fantastic. So mine has a stop button and a record button and some other buttons that you don't need to worry about. Some of the volume knobs, you have your loop level, your instrument level, which I have a certain way because of how I'm running it into my interface. But the main gist of it, I'm pressing this for stop and this for record. So the idea here is you can take any progression and have it play back to you. So here we go. And I like to start maybe with like the rhythm. Okay, let's say we like that tempo. We like that rhythm. Record it. Okay, so hopefully we can hear that recording back now. And it's in time. One and two and three and four and one and two. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. And depending on how long you record your little loop, is how long you have to overdub. So I only did few bars here. One, two, and three, and four, and... So now I have my rhythm, my chords, playing over my scratchy, let's say, drum rhythm. And then you can maybe switch up the pickup on your guitar, switch up the sound. Have yourself a nice little noodle. or whatever you want. Okay, so I'm gonna stop this one right here. So if you're someone like me that maybe doesn't like practicing to a hardcore metronome, so rigid, I mean, musicians don't play, you know, perfect like machines. We have a little swing, we have a little, we slow up, we speed down. Slow down, speed up? Yeah, that's how you say that. So anyway, with my looper here, lots of different functions, but all you need is record and stop. So let's say we start with our chords. I'm gonna stick with the same thing I was playing before. We'll just count myself off because that's like to set myself up for success. Two, three, four. Now you can see my light is green on there saying, hey, you recorded that, buddy. Good job. So mine has a blinking tempo light. Counting out quarter notes. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you see it blink red on the one, which would be really helpful if you're lost in a loop. So something that's super fun to do, besides just noodle and solo, Try harmonies. So 
So I'm going from a B minor, F sharp minor, to a G, G7, basically. So I'm up here at the second fret. You can't see my hands right now, because I only have one can, y'all. We record this all off an S10 plus. So if you like this recording quality, and you're stunned that I'm doing this on a very old phone, hey, feel free to throw a like, maybe a, maybe a subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. But with my one cam here, I'll just explain. B minor, F, G. I'm up at the top of the neck. I'm gonna make a harmony of my chords down below. So I'll pick a B minor, start right here. Ooh, that sounds real nice. Threw a little nine on top of it, just for some sauce. So I'm using the bottom four strings of the guitar, seventh fret, seventh fret, seventh fret, G, B, D string, and then high E string, seventh fret as well. You get the nine, I'm reaching up to the ninth fret on the high E string. Am I talking a little more? Am I talking a little more intimately because this music's playing? I think I am. Okay, so we have our B minor harmony. Ooh, I like that. So, if you have a second guitarist in your band and you want to write parts, this is a great way to audition. And your bass player. Where the looper comes in is you can actually lay this down and actually build songs. You can create entire band just by looping. Now I got my bass. Guitarist comes in. One, two, three. Let's say we like that. We want to add a little ambience. So Got my HX stomp here, just for effects. I'm just gonna add a little delay, tap in the tempo. Very important if you have a looper and you're using time effects, make sure it all suits up. It's gonna sound a lot better. I recorded two rounds of this. As if we're layering parts. So you can also use this as good studio equipment. Studio equipment simulator. Let's say we didn't like that last one. So you see this overdub here? It's also in. <laughs> we can undo here. So hold down. Now that second guitarist, fired. He's gone. Or she's gone. They're gone. Do something like... Okay, just a little 
little groove at E major E, E major ish. That's like your hi hat snare. Right. Check that out. Okay, our imitation snare. Okay, we can hit. Sort of a bass drum. Just kind of thumping a string there, trying to get that bass. Smacking the guitar to just kind of get the little high end of that sound. So it won't really work for this. You got your bass, you got your drums. You can do any chord progression on this now. Well, not really for the bass line. You can do any chord progression in E now. Let's check it out. So, let's take the chords out of E and seeing how it moves the song. And of course, we just get pulled into the noodle, pulled into the groove. But the point being here, and I'll try to keep it brief even though this is drawn on. Now you can write songs like this. It's a great device, great tool. Something very accessible and easy to buy. Go on Reverb, find one used at your local guitar shop. These things are great, okay? So yeah, you can use it to audition chords, use it to audition rhythms. With this looper in particular and many others, you can actually input other instruments like microphones and that just opens up the whole world, which is why I picked up this looper many, many years ago. It has a mic input. You can record drums into that. If your buddy record, plays drums, just record him playing. Vocals, obviously, work on harmonies. Anything you can stack overdub that you would do inside of your garage band, whatever your recording software, you can just do with your feet. <laughs> that should be the tagline. Something you can do with your feet. Okay, so. I think this has been enough for this one. Thank you so much for checking this one out, and we'll see you in the outro. Thank you so much for watching the video today. If it's not too much to ask, hit the like and subscribe down below, and maybe check out some other videos going on here, and I would greatly appreciate it. All right, thank you.